Hello, my name is Matt LaCroix. I'm marketing manager for Massey Ferguson and Heston by Massey Ferguson Hay Equipment. And today we're going to talk to you about the 2900 series round balers. The 2900 series comes in four different models. This beside me here is a 2946. We also have a 2946A, which is an auto cycle, 2956 and 2956A. Now the ones without the A are auto tie. So that means once the bell is formed, the mesh wrap or twine is automatically applied to the bell. The auto cycle, when we get to that a little bit later, you'll see inside there is onboard hydraulics. It's got its own pump and its own reservoir. These balers can be equipped with 540 or 1000 PTO. So if you order one from a dealership and you order a 540 but you change your tractor later and you want to change it over to 1000 PTO, it's not that hard. All you have to do is flip the gearbox inside here from the 540 to the 1000 and also change your tractor half of your PTO. It is that easy to change from a 540 to 1000 PTO with these balers. As you can see here, our belts are staggered. They're staggered for trash cleanouts. So if you have some sticky hay or that little bit higher moisture hay in the afternoons and it starts trying to stick to your belts, they're staggered to help clean that out. As you can see, we use wedge grip belts for superior traction on the bale. And now we're going to talk to you about the pickup. As you can see, this is a four by six round baler. So it's a four foot wide chamber. But as you can see, the pickup is much larger. We made the pickup larger so there's no need for gathering wheels. So you can pick up that larger windrow when you go around corners. Gauge wheels are standard on these pickups since we have an extra wide pickup on these round balers. Now these gauge wheels need to be set properly. As you can see, this one spins freely. These gauge wheels are here to protect the pickup in case you come across a bump or rough terrain. They are not intended to ride on the field at all times. Now, as you can see, inside all of our Heston by Massey Ferguson and Massey Ferguson round balers, we're all about simplicity. So you can see how uncluttered this whole area is. We've got large main chains and also fairly large chains for your drives and for your pickup. So you'll notice something really nice up here in this baler. Other round balers, you'll see one spring and one hydraulic cylinder on each side of the baler. On the 2900 series, you'll only see two hydraulic cylinders on each side. The reason we use hydraulic cylinders is because we can maintain density more accurately for a longer period of time with hydraulic cylinders than you can with springs. And over time, springs do wear out. So this here is our hydraulic declutcher. So regardless if you get a auto tie, like a 2946 or 2956, or an auto cycle, like a 2946A or 2956A, the hydraulic declutcher is standard equipment. And what this does is when you open your tailgate, it stops all of your drives, not only your pickup, but all of your rollers as well. We want to maintain that nice tension on the belts to keep them from cross-tracking if you're on the side of a hill or any other type of scenario. To set the lower maximum on your pickup, all you have to do is pull this pin. As you can see, we have a myriad of options here. And you can put it wherever you need to put it. So when you lower it, it'll only go to that point. As you can see, this model is outfitted with the flotation 21 and a half tires. There's also a smaller 14L tires if that fits your operation better. Regardless if you choose the 14L or the 21 and a half flotation tires, all of our 2900 series come standard with a torsion axle suspension system. You may be familiar with the torsion axle in some tillage equipment and some trailers. We have a full length square tubing and full length rubber running all the way down the axle. And as that axle moves, whether you're going through a rough field or down the road, it will maintain your flotation and have a smooth ride. This model has the optional mesh wrap system. And as you can see in here, this is probably the most simple mesh wrap system on the market. You have your storage mesh up here. And to load your mesh, you pull this back, lay your mesh roll right here, pull a little bit of it off, and make sure it's in contact with the rubber roller here. It does not have to be tied in a knot. You don't have to pre-feed it. You don't have to use any talcum powder. It's positive feeding action. So once those belts grab a hold to the mesh, it pulls it through. You can adjust your width here if you're using a 48 inch or a 51 inch mesh. You can also adjust with these gas shocks on both sides of your tensioning system here.
As you can see, the right-hand side of the baler is just as simple as the left-hand side of the baler. You've got your drives here for your pickup. So a good thing to point out here on the right-hand side of the baler is when you're storing your baler during the off-season is to take the tension off of your belts. So you can remove uh, belt density here and your belt tension here. Another good feature that's optional on these balers is soft core kit. So if you're ever doing any kind of moisture at all, anything above 14% moisture, you want to put a soft core kit in there so you can make that core a little bit softer. And also if you're doing ring feeding in the field, it'll be much easier for your cows to be able to grab chunks of hay from a ring when you have a softer core. For more information and to learn about these great 2900 series round balers, please visit your local Massey Ferguson and Heston by Massey Ferguson dealer or visit MasseyFerguson.us.